By now, you've certainly heard that Barry Trotz is no longer with the Islanders. I know. <sighs> but what does that mean for Islanders prospects? Because that's really what I'm concerned with on this channel. It was shocking, it was confusing, it's still shocking and confusing that Barry Trotz is no longer behind the bench for the New York Islanders. It came out of nowhere, I don't know about you, but when I saw the tweet from the Islanders, I had to double, triple, and quadruple check it to be like, it's not April 1st, this is actually their account, did they actually tweet that, did I read it wrong? And all of those four checked out, and then it was kind of like, whoa, boy, just absolute, pff, what the hell is going on here? So Barry Trotz no longer behind the bench for the Islanders. And so for us, and specifically this niche channel about Islanders prospects, what does that mean for Islanders prospects? And from the time you saw the header of the video to right now, you're probably screaming, ice time, baby! And you're kind of right. It Ice time is going to be the one thing that will change with Barry Trotz no longer behind the bench. And by change, we obviously mean more, right? Prospects like... Maybe some of these aren't actual prospects anymore, but you, you get the sense of the argument here. Uh, guys like Oliver Wallstrom, Robin Sallow, Kiefer Bellows, even Noah Dobson, for example. They're going to get more ice time with someone other than Barry Trotz behind the bench. And while that's not me calling out Barry Trotz's approach, but what Barry Trotz was doing with prospects specifically was having a punitive approach to getting them to play NHL hockey. If you don't do what I want you to do, I will take away the one thing that I'm able to take away, and that's ice time, or even just game time, right? Just straight up take you out of the game type of thing, or, or don't let you play the next one. And so, as we know with, with players nowadays, that, that doesn't work all the time. It, it worked with Noah Dobson, right? It, it absolutely worked with Noah Dobson. The tough love approach totally worked with Noah Dobson. But it didn't really work with Oliver Wallstrom. Say what he will about, like, oh, I needed the tough love Cool, but it didn't really get you to play the way they wanted you to play. So it clearly didn't work. And that was a folly or a fault of Barry Trotz, right? Like something that he didn't do well was recognize that that punitive approach to growing these players into confident NHLers doesn't always work. And so someone else is going to come in, I would imagine, with a different approach. Still use that because that is still a viable tool that still works. Again, look at Noah Dobson but it doesn't work for every player. So when it comes to guys like Robin Salo, like Aturatu probably even next year, Kiefer Bellows, Oliver Wallstrom, taking away that ice time isn't always going to work to get them to learn to play the way you want them to play. There is such a thing as, you know, tapping them on the back saying you've done a good job or that was a mistake, but here's how you could do it differently. And I'm not going to take that away from you. I want you to go out and apply it. Right, look at Ole Jokinen with Yukurit as a recent example of doing exactly that. Like Those were his exact words when it came to teaching young players like Aturatu. So when it comes to Barry Trotz no longer being behind the bench, I'm not going to come out and say, like, this is a great thing. I'm, I'm still in camp, like, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Why did you let go of one of the better coaches in the league? Sure enough, he had his punitive approach, if you will, when it came to prospects and getting them to play a certain way. Um, but it didn't, it wasn't always the wrong approach. Again, Noah Dobson, it just, you're not going to find, in my opinion, a better coach out there to replace Barry Trotz. But when it comes to prospects and prospects only, because that's the niche of this channel, um, this is probably going to be a good thing for some of these young players. Again, Oliver Wallstrom, he's not going to come out and say like, I'm glad this is happening because he's probably not. Um, but this probably means he won't be scratched as frequently or have his ice time cut as frequently as we saw it. So this is going to be a good thing for some of these developing players that are supposed to be taking, I'm not going to say starring roles, but top roles within the Islanders roster. So again, it remains to be seen who takes over for Barry Trotz. But as it stands now, the big change for prospects is going to be they're going to get more ice time because Barry Trotz is so far on one side of that punitive approach to development that there's only room for more ice time or less punitive approach to that development. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. If you have not subscribed yet, hit that button. And if you have or plan on doing so or have just done it just now, thank you, thank you, thank you.